Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So now we're ready to start destroying buildings. Since there are a lot of different ways to actually do this, we're going to start with the basic tools. We're going to use the eraser tool and we're going to remove a part of this building right here. It's pretty simple. Before we do that, let's check our brush settings. I've actually set it this, uh, this kind of a chalky type of brush. That way it creates a little bit more chaos when I'm actually erasing things. And I'm gonna set the size to 40 pixels. Make sure it's in brush mode. That way it adds a little bit of substance to the brush, a little bit of flow. Make sure the opacity is at 100 so it removes everything. And we'll get started. We're just gonna take a nice chunk out of this building right here. So that looks decent, get rid of the rest. And now what we want to do is we want to replace that with a dilapidated part of a building. So with my Google search, I found this building right here. It's great because it's completely gutted out and it shows all the different facades and interiors of a building. And so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the marquee tool and we're going to select the majority of this building. Right click, layer via, oops, well layer via cuts, cut is fine too. Meant to say layer via copy. So move it over to our cityscape. That, sorry, that's our... And put it right there. Now, we need to get it behind there. And the first step of that is pretty easy. We're going to grab the layer that we just created and we're going to move it down below our main layer. And there you go, it's right behind it. Now there's a few steps that we have to take to make it so it looks like it fits in well with this building. Firstly, the floors of the destroyed building compared to the actual building are off. So we're going to fix that. And the way we're going to do that is transform it. So Command or Control T and hold down Shift so you can make it as exact as possible. And just make it the size of the actual floors. Right about there looks pretty good, but it's not perfect. As you can see, the rotation of the building compared to the destroyed building is a little off. So with the transform tool still selected, move your cursor over to the corner till you get this little rotation symbol and click and drag just enough so it fits in nicely. That's pretty good, I gotta say I like that. Now, uh, you notice that while it fits in nicely with the buildings, with the building itself, it's not big enough, so I'm gonna duplicate it. All you do is right click on the layer, duplicate layer, and we'll call it destroyed copy, that way it's easy to find, and there it is. And with the move tool, move it down. And just move it, yeah, that's perfect, that's more than okay. So. That's a good way to start. Now we want to take the erasure tool and actually erase the dilapidated image so it looks like a properly destroyed building. This brush size is too big, so we're going to change it to 10 pixels. And just start going through it. Now, the thing about con about this is that to make it look real, you want to have a sense of controlled chaos about it. Think about the structure of a building. Think about the parts that are going to be destroyed and how it's going to affect the structure of a building. So you want to try and make it look real. So as you can see, I'm going through the different elements of it and I'm not really destroying the beams, I'm destroying what's in between the beams. So that's a good it's a good start. Now let's get rid of some pieces of the beam. And there you go. That's looking pretty good already. But as you can see, it doesn't quite mesh perfectly with the rest of the building. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color elements of both the building and the destroyed part of the building.